The first effective coronavirus vaccine can prevent more than 90% of people from getting COVID-19. According to preliminary analysis, the developers Pfizer and BioNTech have described it as a great day for science and humanity. So far, their vaccine has been tested on over 43,000 people in six countries. And the company's plan, company plans to apply for emergency approval to start inoculations by the end of the month. Let's speak to Dr. Bharat Pankani, a senior lecturer, clinical lecturer at the University of Exeter Medical School and infectious disease management expert as well. Uh, Dr. Barak Pankani, good afternoon to you. Um, a lot of people saying this has come around rather quick, rather sudden. Uh, no, no. Uh, if you look at the timelines as advertised by Pfizer and BioNTech, uh, they are on, on schedule and, and they've been going through their trials and they're only sharing with us their experiment phase three trial results, which is good news. Mm -hmm. So when they say that, you know, they've tried this on 43,000 people, um, I mean, we've had many conversations over the last seven months, along with, you know, other uh, fellow clinicians and scientists in your world. And, you know, it seems to differ from we could get one in a year. It could take three years. I mean, in the grander scale of vaccines, I mean, it's never easy, one assumes. But is this still rather swift? No, it's. You know, they've done the work and uh, they've got the results and they feel confident about their results. What is good is they have tried it in a diverse range of people and age groups, which is pleasing because it is important to know that the vaccine works in the older age groups who are more vulnerable to severe illness. So that's good that we got to test it in the vulnerable groups. Are you hopeful then that this is this, you know, if we if we talk in two months time, uh, this will be wheeled out across the nation? Could it be that I, fast? I am hopeful, but I'm also hopeful that the other mRNA vaccine manufacturers will also uh, very soon start also sharing their results and their outcomes. And hopefully they also will have good, uh, good safety records for them to have their vaccines on the market. Should a vaccine be compulsory? No, I would never have gone for the compulsory route, Ian. I personally feel uh, personal persuasion and, and, and allow people to make their own decisions is much better. I remember during the MMR era, uh, talking to concerned parents, and after I had given them the conversation, uh, they decided to invariably take the MMR vaccine. Hmm. But I've never gone for compulsion. I don't like that. Yeah, and, and, and difficult, of course, for that to happen. And uh, but there, are, as you will be aware, there's a lot of theories out there that, um, that, that that suggest that that might well be the case. In fact, some suggest it's the only way to be fully sure that you could uh, have any effective result to try and to battle a virus like this is to make sure everybody has the vaccination. No, not really, Ian, because what I want to do is I want to squash the pandemic. And one way to squash it is to give it to key people and vulnerable people and then to the rest of the population. And by the time you've done that with people who willingly wish to be immunized, you will have a large cohort of immune immunized people. And and that's as good as we can do. No point in wasting energy on people who say I'm not going to have it. So we should, just a final point, that we should be encouraged, excited, if that is the right word about this. This is very positive news, I, I assume. This is positive news, and I feel positive about the other MR, mRNA vaccine manufacturers too. The one key point to look out for is how long does the effect of this vaccine last for? So that's another yeah. milestone that we need to conquer. It, will it be six months, nine months, a few years? That will be really important to know that if the vaccine is long term, then we are you know, heading in the right direction. Good work, Dr. Bharat Pankanye. Always a pleasure. Thank you, sir. Senior clinical lecturer at the University of Exeter Medical School, also infectious disease management expert. So your thoughts on that as well? 0344 499